Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got two Milwaukee 5 ampere M18 batteries. This one's a Europe made one, judging the label on the bottom, though the labels on the side are away. And this one's a USA made one, but they're not doing any harm, they're basically the same. They've problems. This one's had a bit of a fall. It looks to be damaged, the, the casing looks to be damaged, there's a bit of dirt on there. I'll try a drill on it to see what happens. It's going, but it's damaged. It's showing it's fully charged. And I better check the voltage in that one, just to make sure. It's showing a fully charged voltage there. However, I'm only getting it to connect to the top, because I can see even the pins are kind of damaged there. I may have to place the circuit board anyway battery number two not even lighting the LED in the tool that's bad probably won't charge let's see clicking away I don't like that it's clicking away does not want to charge it looks like it's charging but it's not I've had ones like that before you hear that clicking sound it's not happening what we have here is just over 9 volts it seems to be dropping as well which is not, not good so we'll have to get into that one to see what the cells are like I just check the voltage of the banks of cells. 1.71, 1.75, they're very low. Round the same. Yeah. 1.71. This is very well balanced but very very low. All the cells are extremely low but extremely close to each other. That's probably good news. And what we'll do in that case is probably give that a little boost to see if we can wake it up again. I just noticed the bent terminal in this one as well. You see, we can get this right up. That terminal's damaged so I'll scrape that in first. I'll try and give that a bit of a straighten. I've straightened that as well as I can. Um, what do you see? But it is a bit shorter than the one beside it. This side of it is shorter than this side. So somebody's maybe burnt a bit off that with uh, a badly fitting tool, badly fitting Milwaukee tool or jump starting or something. We may still have to replace the circuit board in this. We're going to charge, try the jump start first. Right, what we're going to do now is connect this full battery, this full knockoff DeWalt battery, to the M18. And what that'll do is it'll bring the cells up to a chargeable voltage, hopefully, and give us a battery we can charge. What I'm doing here is monitoring the voltage of the battery as we go so we can keep an eye on what's going on if you watch that air it's 8.25 volts now so let's go there should be a bit of a spark here no 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 a bit through the board so that's good see it's got up to 17 odd volts there i'm going to take it away to see if it drops it's dropping but not too badly I'll keep it going and what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take all this away and slap it in the charger to see if it takes a charge. All that away. 
see if we can get it on the charge. It seems to be booting up the way you would expect a, a charger to. That sound that you just hear, that whatever you would describe it, that would signify that it is charging. So we're going to leave it on for a while and then come back to it. We get nicely up to two bars. We might get the three, but this the front isn't is damaged, so we'll not get the four. Even though it will probably fully charge. So we'll leave that to the side for a little while and take a look at this other one. This one is a damaged top and is showing full voltage. And it's pretty cool. So we'll get it open to see what's going on here. Uh, right, it's not that clean now. But um, again, there's terminal damage there too. You can see that there, that one's badly pushed on. I could try and straighten that and clean everything up. Other than that, I'd have to put a new board on it. What I mean by a new board is one of these. With all the muck blue off the top, I just have to straighten this. That's pushed in a wee bit, but I don't think it's doing any harm. Um, there's definitely a bit of that broke off too. Let's see what it can do. That's the best I can do on the circumstances, but I think what we'll do is we'll maybe put it together, try and get the lid on a bit more secure, and see if it charges, see if it goes. This one doesn't really want to secure. Right. These batteries have long screws and short screws the long screws go on here the short screws go on here but what i tried there a month ago off camera was this yeah um, drive the long screw up through. if i drive the long screw up here it'll hold this end on because the top has been damaged and there's nothing for the short screw to thread onto. So I'll drive the long screws up there and cut them off and dremel them off and even them off a bit. There we are. That'll hold that top on. So just need to even these off. You can see I've cut the two bits that are protruding off, them two bits of screws. Then I'm going to give it a little bop. Is not stopping the tool sliding on, that's nice and smooth, that's good. Trying it in the tool. I would say that's, that's pretty good there. I'll try it in the charger to see if it's showing any faults or anything unusual. Shown as fully charged, that's probably what we'd expect. And the four bars. I'm calling that one fixed anyway. 
So battery number one had been on charging for a while there and it's get, got up to 18.9. It was still charging. I'm pretty confident it would get up to a maximum voltage there. But when you do the jump start like I done with that, it's best to leave it overnight and have another look at it because sometimes they can fail uh, when you heat up the cells like that. But I'll try it in the machine now to see if it goes. Yeah. That's those two batteries fixed. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.